Okay, everybody, welcome back. Uh, excuse me, welcome back, and uh, welcome to another installment of this video series on Stephen's Pass. Um, I think I'm going to call this the tribute video to this HO scale layout. Anyways, uh, one of our fellow YouTubers uh, had bought my layout, so I'm getting ready to be packaged up and shipped out, hopefully this weekend. Uh, so today in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to securely fasten scenery, um, especially stuff that's loose, like the riverbed here. Um, so it's safe to travel in a sense, so I'm going to do uh, just kind of a beginner intro on how to secure scenery. A couple of things, of course, what we're going to need is uh, water, which happens to be diluted with alcohol, I'd say about 25% or so. Also, uh, a 50-50, I did like a 60-40 on uh, Elmer's glue and of course just basic water uh, just straight out of the tap nothing distilled, no hard cores, you know I'm not going to get all deep into that chemical area anyways easy go so let's get started um, fairly simple I'm just going to go ahead and spray with the water alcohol mix and uh, brand new from Home Depot come on baby well I guess we'll try to open her up a little We're getting flow. There we go. That's what we want, right? They're a nice, beautiful mist. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, crap. It took out an end scale model while doing this. Okay, well, I guess make sure you clean up your area first. Uh, end scale models in particular. Let's maybe move the HO scale stuff down a little ways. So anything about uh, scenery safety, obviously, uh, there was a prime example on how that happens. Make sure your area is plenty clean and ready to work on. So in the meantime, in this short little blunder, we'll clean this bad boy up. Okay, I think that'll work just fine. All right, let's try that once again. Man, this is going to look great once you get all the safe water in here. I, I told the guy who bought it to use a Virotex. He wants me to come over and show him how to do that. And I am certainly looking forward to it. Okay, once I felt like I've gotten the material pretty well covered as far as saturation, water content, per scenery, I'm going to go ahead and head back. Mm, that's when you can tell it's good. You can smell the rubbing alcohol. That's a good thing right there, baby. All right. Let's go ahead and begin our mix. And you can tell that it's good because it's going to fall straight into the scenery. When it does that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is completely saturated like it should with the water alcohol mix. All right. I think I've got this fairly well completed, at least this section. And what this is going to do, give it uh, 48 hours or so, and it's going to set real nice, and uh, it shouldn't move anywhere. I mean, it shouldn't move an inch, it shouldn't move a centimeter, it shouldn't move anything. That's the beauty of Elmer's glue. It's solid as a rock when it's ready to roll. I'm going to continue the rest of the scene here. Hopefully my dry sense of humor is okay. I don't know. I always enjoy speaking in front of people, but I never really got the video thing down right. Anyway, so we'll just keep trucking here. Hopefully this is all right. A nice solid reach. Holy cow. I'm just going to do basic sweeps all the way across. I'm going to feel the entire area of what needs to be soaked. And uh, so far it looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. All right, we've reached the other part where we've just connected. Let's get the bottom here. Go and give it a couple more spritz. Beauty, absolutely gorgeous. Get underneath this little guy somehow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna squirt it on there. Certainly going to miss this little layout. I tell you what, it's a great running layout. 
uh, the guy who bought this layout from me is going to certainly enjoy it. Um, he's a BM uh, railroader, a model railroader I should add, and uh, this will fit perfect for him. Uh, Steven's Pass and BN. Looking forward to some videos from him. That'll be great. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this other side quickly. And that'll be it as far as our demonstration is concerned. Uh, so I'm going to give this, you know, a couple days to dry up. And uh, hopefully this will be rock solid and ready to ship. So I'm excited for new changes. Of course, the end scale layout's going to come in this winter. Looking forward to that. Can't wait to get started. I went down to the home depot and picked me up some sweet deals. I uh, got this stuff tonight for six ninety eight. And that was uh, just a bottle and a, uh, a saw, a metal saw in order to cut some of the track out in the yard. I already did that. I wish I could demonstrate that. Well, once I feel like I've got the majority of the scenery covered, that's going to be it. We're just going to give it time to seal up. And this bad boy is going to be rock solid, ready to ship, ready to go. All right, guys, I think that's going to do her. Uh, some material I used to cut the track in the yard, if you will. Uh, I bought these metal junior hacksaw blades. Kind of a shitty deal, but uh, ended up buying the wrong size, so I ended up mustering it out with my hands. Um, ended up using hand dandy pair of nips and just grabbed and sawed the shit out of the track. Turned out pretty nice. Uh, nice and close. I can cut them out, put some rail joiners in there when we're ready to butt it up, and it should be uh, solid. So, cool. Okay. That's going to wrap it up. Certainly thankful you guys are watching my videos. I uh, appreciate all the support. I will try to catch up with you again here soon. Uh, next layout update. Who knows? God knows when. Uh, maybe I'll be moving wood in, putting some shit up for bench work. I don't know. Anyways, you guys have a great night tonight. Thanks for watching, and I will catch up with you guys again.